Hello, welcome, guten tag. This, uh, this video is a response to a post I saw on Reddit in the beginning woodworker subreddit. Uh, the gentleman, or I guess the, the user submitted uh, some, some questions about a shelf that he was trying to build. I'll put a link to the, to the post in question. Uh, namely, he was building um, just a real simple bench uh, to where he had um, boards, you know, he had, he had, a, he had a, it looked like a couple two by sixes maybe on, on top and then two by sixes running up and down, uh, all butt joints and then a shelf in between. Uh, had some questions about wood chipping on, uh, on the shelf side and uh, the screws not really holding, uh, holding the project together tightly. So I wanted to, I, I was gonna post a response, uh, but I figured it'd be just as easy to show. All right, so first off, uh, when we think of wood, we think of this monolithic sheet uh, that's all one piece that we do whatever we want to. And that's not really true. What it really is is a whole bunch, and I mean you can you can see it kind of in, in the end here, it's just basically a whole bunch of straws laying like this to where the straws are, and really in the tree it is straws, where your water and nutrients and all that kind of stuff go up and down them. Uh, so if you can imagine, I, ideally what you want to do uh, when you screw uh, screw into it or nail in it or anything like that, you want to go uh, into it like this, uh, as opposed to this is, uh, this is what flat grain or whatever, and this is end grain. Uh, you definitely you want to avoid screwing into end grain or nailing into end grain at any chance possible, or into like this edge of the board. Uh, you can screw into this side. You can screw into this side, this side, any of the other four sides, but your two ends you, you want to avoid. Because what happens is when the screw goes into, uh, into your long grain, it'll go in there, it'll kind of wedge itself in, and it kind of tangles it up and it'll hold it tightly. And you can see it's, it actually takes a little bit to pull it out there. Whereas if you go into the end grain, you're, just, you're, going, you're going in between all these fibers and there's not really a whole lot to hold it on. Um, that's why when you have an ax, you can come into the end here and you can split it all the way down, down the board really easily. Whereas if you're going across, it takes a lot to chop through each, chop through these fibers instead of, you know, you just go in there and you separate them where there's not a whole lot holding onto them. So, uh, kind of a quick demonstration, you know, and since said it wasn't holding tightly, what's, what's undoubtedly happening is when you drive the screw in, it's just stripping out the thread. So I just have a, it's just a little, uh, wood screw here uh, just a real little one and so when you kind of go in see that is no doubt what's happening you're not getting any sort of tightness to it uh, it'll still go in and out just fine but it's not gonna hold anything tight and I saw some responses on there about you know screws not you know it only holds it at the pressure the boards already at and uh, and also another one where the screw forces the wood apart so when you when you do it properly and you're screwing you know through a board into your into your long grain here it will draw it together like a clamp um no different because because with these threads that's basically all it is it's, it's grabbing uh, you know if you're screwing let me get a longer screw to demonstrate here you know if you're screwing down into here these threads what's pulling the screw down in eventually will pull these two boards together goes in the burn pile and I don't want to screw in the burn pile um, and when when you talk about the board separating as you screw into it so what happens there and I hope I can get get enough clarity here maybe if I just gotta well, that's not good I'm still working on my videotaping setup here so so when you screw into it as it goes through the first board the screw takes a little bit to actually penetrate into the board underneath so when that happens, these threads are still pulling down on, on your top board. So yeah, it'll, it'll kind of, it'll separate them. And then when it finally, when the screw finally digs in, dang it. Well, gosh golly gee willikers. Uh, when it finally grabs into your second board, that's when it cinches it tight. And it'll, it'll basically go as tight as, as your screw and the boards will allow. Now with pilot holes, uh, what the pilot hole does is, uh, helps prevent 
uh, splitting. It makes it a little bit easier to go into it. So here I have, it's kind of a dedicated, and let me get, uh, my lighting is just phenomenal in here, especially with that window back there. Um, this one has a built-in, what's called the countersink. So what the countersink does is it'll create uh, this hole here. It'll create a little bit larger hole or divot for your screw head to sit into. So rather than your screw head having to compress the fibers as it goes down in, it'll actually, it'll just go right down into that, into that hole. Now this one's a little bit exaggerated because of what I was trying to do with it uh, earlier, but when you do it properly, the screw should fit down just nice and easy, and then you don't get that case. And again, going to, I mean, going back to our straw analogy, so, so if you're putting your screw in right here, what it does is it'll break these fibers, and so now all of a sudden these, these two guys way out here, this little bit way out here, really doesn't have a whole lot holding it on. So yeah, that'll, that'll chip out, it'll break out. Uh, so when you, and when you do the, the, the pilot hole, and this may not work uh, very well. When you do the pilot hole in your top wood, yeah, you, you want that to be uh, about the size of, at, at least the size of your, uh, the shank of your screw. So what happens is ideally your screw just kind of passes through this wood without doing a whole lot. There's not a lot of grab there. And instead it'll go down into your next piece. It'll grab that and pull them together. The, between the, the head and the, the threads, it'll pull them together. So, uh, it was really pilot, oops, wrong way. Pilot hole, like I said, this one. Uh, this one there we got. We just got a little bit larger hole, so, so it helps break some of those fibers. It gives them a place to kind of go um, when you're doing it. So then that way, when you go to, uh, that's not the right, that is not the right. I bought a box of SPAC screws. Um, I like the, the, the star heads. They have, I don't like them. They have their own special bit. And I've been trying to use them. I was thinking at the time, I'm like, oh, that'll be fine. I've been trying to use them up ever since. Basically, wherever I think I'm not gonna need to remove them in the near future, all right, so then yeah, you just take it, and you just go in, and so there, there, then you have a nice, fairly clean surface. And then this side here, and I can even demonstrate for you, if you will. All right, so we're, so we're not in at all whatsoever. So, oh, there, and it didn't do it. But you can see it, it, it separated a little bit, but then, boom, what? pulls it back tight once you actually tighten it down in. So there you go. Um, like I said, in, in your specific project, Mr. Random Reddit person, uh, your biggest problem is you're screwing into end grain and then you're not, you're not gonna be able to draw it really tight. What you can do is get yourself some small angle brackets. So when you have your pieces coming together like that, you have angle brackets. So now you're screwing into uh, into long grain and long grain and um, and that that should fix your problem it should give you that stability uh, I know one other person posted about lateral stability so when you sit down on it, it doesn't collapse on you that'll give you some of that it's not an ideal solution but uh, for your first project for just getting started certainly not a problem there um, it'll last several years. Uh, I don't think you want to be trying to uh, have relations on it anytime soon. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and try it. Post a video. Uh, and let's see you hilariously fall uh, to your doom. So there's, uh, there's that. I think I kind of uh, responded to everything. And like I said, when you're screwing close to the edge, you're going to get that chip out pretty much no matter what you do. Um, so you just kind of have to live with it. Um, and even a lot of times with, with pine, it likes to chip out pretty easy the way it is. So there's that. Uh, this is certainly a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but uh, if you stayed in, thank you. Um, check out some of my other videos. Have a great rest of the day.